Blood Hunt is going to die. And it's really sad to say that because Blood Hunt's basic core elements are fantastically done. The fundamental movement and gunplay feels so fantastic. But the bugs, server issues, and all these other just quality of life is just ruining the, ruining the game. And the developers just, I just don't care, or they don't know how to fix them, or they're inexperienced, or something. But it's just disheartening to just see such a great battle royale game just fall away and diminish into nothing. And you're probably wondering why this is happening, but as you can see, the Steam charts really do show the. The, just the decline in player base and people coming back they just don't want to play the game anymore and this is just due to probably three main reasons I can pinpoint uh, one is the bugs and there's two main bugs that have not been fixed since launch the first one is getting killed by the red gas when you're not in the red gas so when you're in the red gas you slowly deteriorate over time and for some reason, when you're not in the red gas, you're close to it in the end circle, you start getting killed by it. And this just happens, and you can't do anything about it. When you go down, you get res back up, you still continually die to the red gas. And there's nothing they can you, you can do to stop it. Nice, I'm getting killed by the gas when it's not even on me, bro. I fucking hate this game. How do I always get this gas shit, man? And the second one is the reload bug. Oh my days. The reload bug has to be the most infuriating bug I've ever experienced in any Battle Royale game or any game at all. The fact that I, can, I have to reload my gun three or four, five or seven times. Like, look how ridiculous that is. Like, it's frustrating, and that's been on since launch and has not been fixed. The second main issue is server issues. It doesn't matter what server you're on, you're gonna have packet loss, you're gonna have lag, you're gonna have stuttering and desync issues. It's disgusting how bad these servers are. It's like they legit plugged in potatoes for the conducting. Like, it makes no sense how every single server can be bad. I can understand that a player from Australia, for example, playing on Singaporean servers or Asian servers, have, you know, a couple of lag, desync issues, but the fact is America, Europe, everyone around the world has server issues. It's just not one country's problem, it's a worldwide problem, and it still has not been fixed. It's, oh, it's just like the lack of care by the developers of, I don't know, I don't think they even play the game, honestly. It's just so frustrating to see they're just killing their own game, and it's, oh, it makes me angry. It really makes me angry that they just don't care. They, they did a. Oh man, I'm about to. I'm about to fumble the bag, because they have fumbled the bag greater than any other game I've ever seen fumble. And I saw H1Z1 fumble, and this game could be fucking amazing, but they just don't know how to fix the issues that are making players rage quit and never come back. And the third issue is probably not something that is concerning to the player but more to the company because the cosmetics are so lackluster. The battle pass is okay, it's pretty good. I really do like some of the skins and cosmetics in the battle pass, but the rotational shop is absolutely horrendous. It has maybe, I think, 25 items altogether and they come in weekly and daily rotations. And there's someone on Twitter, it's called Blood Hunt Fashion, has recorded this and they literally just copy and paste repeat skins every single week and every single day so it doesn't really matter what kind of new cosmetics come out because there isn't any they just reuse the ones they used last week and there's nothing wrong with that essentially but without people buying cosmetics the game cannot be funded and that means the game's just going to be left in the dust because without people buying it as it's a free-to-play game no one's buying these cosmetics and battle passes and all this other kind of stuff the game won't be able to get funded, the servers won't be able to stay up, and the developers won't get paid, so they'll get moved on to other projects. So, the, the game's going to be doomed either way, because you're not going to have funding from the core player base of 2,000, 3,000 players daily. They're not going to be buying anything because there's nothing to buy. It's ridiculous. And on top of that, they had a June update. I was so hopeful for this June update. 
but it doesn't address any of the major issues that I just talked about. The ray load bug, the red gas are still in the game. They addressed it in the patch saying we need more time to work on it. But the thing is, you don't have any more time. You needed to make that June patch the best. And the thing is, it launched in May. We had to wait a whole month for this patch, a whole month of players leaving and probably never coming back because this update took so long to come out. And the thing is, they didn't even fix the issues that made people leave in the first place. It just, oh, it makes me sad to see such a great game just get binned because of lazy development or just inexperience. I'm not too sure, it could be both, but they're not focusing on the real issues. They fixed an achievement bug. Like, who cares about an achievement? Fix the problems that make people not want to play the game. Oh, it's just it's just saddening to see because I really enjoyed the first week of this game was was great but you know all things must come to an end I guess and there's also another issue cheaters um, I experienced some cheaters I, I it was like 50 50 sometimes but it wasn't that bad for me personally but a lot of other streamers and just general players just have issues with finding cheaters so that's kind of ruined the game as well it was a lot better to be fair, with the anti-cheat, um, I gotta say it's a lot better than it was in the beta, but it's still it's still pretty bad for a small game that needs as many players as it can get. But that's that's my rant on Blood Hunt. Yeah, I'm just very very disappointed. They had they had a great thing going, 29,000 player peak. Could have gone even higher to be honest, but the issues, the issues, the issues, the issues that just need to be fixed have not been fixed. And the recording of this video is the 19th of June and those bugs are still in the game. So I probably not gonna play Blood Hunt again until everything is fixed, but I literally do not have hope that it won't be fixed. I think it's gonna take another month, two months until it's actually fixed, but by then there's only gonna be about 500 players playing it. And then by the end of the year, it's probably gonna be probably gonna be squashed. The project's gonna be gone or they might relaunch, relaunch it. Who knows these days, but Thank you all for tuning in. A bit of a rant. Had to get out of my had to get out of my system, man. It, it's such a great game, but on that note, enjoy the rest of your night or day and have a wonderful week. Mwah. Pussy tight, pussy clean, pussy fresh. Pussy 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 fat full of fresh.